Welcome to the freaking weekend. That would be better than. Look at the pretty lady. We're good. It's on the swing. I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Who gonna tell me I'm not cute? categorize it and put it into just one demographic race or ethnicity i just want to say foreigners in general in the united states of america specifically in the area that i live which is texas dallas are rude motherfuckers right it's foreigners and then it's the older majority of this country which is caucasian european american people i think that I, I guess it's like a superiority complex. Uh, I'm better than you, so I don't have to use proper manners or etiquette. I don't know what the mindset is or the concept is, the type of delusion that they have in their head. But if it wasn't for the fact of a praying grandma and mother, 
I would be fucking you niggas up. Y'all are rude, inconsiderate, nasty, foul people. And there's one specific ethnicity, race, y'all stink. And it's just like, and I'm not talking about literally, but sometimes I do mean literally. No, I'm talking about fi figuratively. Y'all suck. And if we were to treat y'all how y'all think we act, then we in the wrong. And that's my problem. That's my that's that's one of the worst problems is we're trying to we're trying to behave in a way that will prove them wrong because they already have something in their mind that thinks that we are animals. And I want to be like, yeah, you know, because no matter how we go about treating them, they're always going to think that we're animals. So, you know, let's just prove them right. Because who the fuck cares what they think? They don't give a fuck about us. Why do we give a fuck about that? Also, I don't know why I keep coming back to this place to do my brows. I don't know nowhere else to do my brows. And it's killing me because... I'm, I'm, I'm literally paying the price. And the, and the thing about it is, is that, like, is she blind? Does she think my black skin? Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, she missed some hairs. Like, I just don't get it. Does she, does she think, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going back in there. I don't have, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I'm going to just do what I'm doing right now. Um, because although not bad, she just like missing my ears at the bottom right here. And it's just like, what's the point of a cleanup if you're not fucking cleaning? I always complain. I need to, I need to go, I need to do, I need to find another eyebrow place. That's just, uh, that's just it right there. But one thing that I do love is when I'm doing something and I'm somewhere and I'm like, man, I need to hit this other place up. And the other place is literally across the street. Because I was telling myself, I need, ooh, oh, oh. I was telling myself I need a um, a new flower vase. And I want to go to Home Goods. And I was like, okay, when I do my brows, I'll find a Home Goods around that area. Home Goods right, by the, right across the street. Right across the street. Mm, mm, right across the street. I did some late night, four in the morning shopping on toward because I realized that all of my shoes, they're either like boots or sandals or heels. I don't have any closed toed shoes. And I guess that's because of working from home. I don't know. I just, and, and then moving, I guess I threw all my closed toed shoes away. So I went online on toward and they were having 35% off of shoes. That's lovely. And I got some shoes. I got quite a few pairs. Well, what did I say quite a few pairs? You know them mules that don't have anything in the back? I got some of those because I've always wanted some of those. And then I just got a lot, a whole bunch of flats and then like one pair of loafers. Um, just to go into work, you know what I'm saying? I need to, without wearing boots or the same brown flats that I got from Walmart seven years ago. Like, let's all be fucking for real, please. Oh, at home is over here too. God is good. I didn't know there was an at home over here. Nice. But that place too big. I'm gonna try home goods. And then they got a Marshalls and a Ross over yonder. So I'm gonna try home goods first. Cause I know Ross may have it, but I kind of want something like crystal -y that has like a crystal feel to it. I have flower vases, but they're just not big. And I want a big one that I can put you know, more than seven flowers in. So that's what we're gonna try out. As a human being that doesn't know anything about decorating, I'm in home goods overwhelmed. But they got some cute shit. That's a cute one, that's a cute one. But are these actual laces? That's the tea that I, that I wanna know, cause damn, this, this whole shake. Well, they have like a, you know, I don't come into this store. This is, this place in Target. I try not to. But, um, well, they have a place that say vases. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the true tea. I also like wine glasses. Uh, my friend, she got some wine glasses from Home Goods. I like those. But... 
to be honest, I don't even be drinking like that. But when I do drink, I do want something cute. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to ask her what she got. All right. So Home Goods, I don't think Home Goods is for me for real because it. I don't like crowded overwhelmed places and it wasn't crowded in the terms of people it was crowded in the terms of items like i'm not trying to move and and tussle with the frap the rugs in the no i'm not trying to do all of that and move shit around i don't want to do that i want to see it in the front row maybe a little bit in the back row and that's it all this other hullabaloo and rigmarole i'm not with it so i am at ross and then marshall's is on the other side over there like you can see but that's where I am, and that's what I'm finna do. I'm finna do. Uh, I'm finna go see about a, a horse. I ain't never seen these trees in real life before. I'm in Marshalls right now. These are cute. They're purple. And they're only uh, $15 for four. But I don't even be using cups, so I know it'll be a waste of my time. But they're so cute. They're so cute. Cupcakes and cashmere at home. They're so cute. They have them in pink. Oh, they have them in orange, too. But you know, I had to gravitate towards the purple. Oh, shit. I'm not trying to buy things that I don't need right now. I'll save that. Damn, my knee is cracking like a crib. You should go. It's your girl Young Rooks and today is Sunday, March 11th. I'm lying. Today is Sunday, March 10th. Daylight savings time, a day before Ramadan begins. Like, I'm all out of whack. But this is the first time since my brother's wedding that I did my makeup. And I am stepping outside and actually going somewhere with people intentionally so my friend he invited me to his and his fiance's baby shower and that's where i'm going and i just want to come on here and tell you that the sol de janeiro body butter number 59 solid solid um and then i you know me i always want to glow so i did put on the capocabana copacabana is it gonna Ooh, yes it did Bronze by Sol de Janeiro. Is it Sol de Janeiro or Sol de Janeiro? Am I am I doing the most by hugging it? But then I also got this from Amazon. It is the Vaseline Illuminate Me Shimmering Body Oil. It smells good. It's light. Um, I use this on top of the body butter, but then I like this one better. So I just went to this one. But this one I'll use like more so... I'll use this one. It was nice for me to get. This would be a nice alternative, a lighter alternative, alternative, a uh, cheaper alternative to the Copacabana. But yeah, I feel pretty. I washed this wig and I curled it yesterday. I also cleaned my house yesterday. I was going to record it, but then I just realized that I needed it for me. I needed to do it for me, play my music, you know, think my thoughts, stuff like that. And that's what I did. And then same thing for the makeup I was going to record, but I was just like, no, let me just do me, you know? And again, this is my first time doing makeup in a while, so I wanted to really concentrate. It came out cool. I'm not mad at it. Um, you know, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. It's like riding a bike type shit. But yeah, the, the hair is hairin, okay? I'm tripping. Like, the hair is doing what it needs to, what it needs to do. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to head out. I also want to go to Trader Joe's before the day is over and get some flowers. I did go to Hobby Lobby yesterday and I, I like I said, I wanted a square uh, flower vase, but they didn't have it. They only had a circle one, but I 
I got it anyway because it's bigger and I feel as though I can put more flowers in it. So hopefully um, when I get back from the baby shower, I'll be able to show you all. But yeah, I am wearing a dress that I got from ASOS. If I have some time, I'll show y'all. And then I have my heels in a car, so I'm just going to be wearing flats until I get there. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm going to know anybody besides my friends. But, you know, you never be too sure. This world is so small. I saw so many weddings this weekend on my Instagram. And so many people that I didn't think would know knew. So, hell, that'll tell you something. It's the, it's the season of weddings, I guess. I feel like ever since the beginning of COVID in 2020, when COVID pushed a lot of weddings back, it's been never ending. People have just been like, you know what? The world is ending. Let me marry you type shit. Anyway, done enough talk talking. Um, I'll show you my outfit and then we'll dip. Give me one break, I need faith. Faith to believe you. Faith to receive you. Give me something I'm lucky. I don't need nothing. You are my everything. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only me. Only you. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only me and you. Only baby, I'm not. And I wanna twirl. I wanna twirl too. Hold on, I gotta. Hopefully, I don't bust my butt. I got Crocs on. Okay. Look at the pretty lady. Oh. And she's a make sure you nothing. And make sure you show the hat. Rose for Rose. Ooh, look at the father to be. What's the shirt? Is that ice cube? Oh yeah. It's okay, okay. Okay, a little pink to I thought we was gonna pay like baby scrabble. These games hard. My friend reused her tissue, so. Okay, baby toy. Okay, shout out to the real niggas and the real niggas only. Yeah. Dubby veterans. Dubby veterans, then veterans. Then OG. Sterling veterans. Sterling veterans. Yes, sir. 6 2. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you got, you got one of different polls? Because y'all both posing let me, the same. Let me look. Let me see. Yeah, let's see if we approve. Y'all posing the same. I don't think I was even. Damn, why I look like I'm flexing, bro? Oh, oh. oh, oh no. He said he's straight. We're straight. We're straight. We're straight. We're straight. You don't want to? <laughs> oh, you do it after. It's the on button? It's the on button. Maybe it's on the string. Is it on the string? It's right here. It's on the string. Like. Okay, Rufus. Oh, we're good. It's on the screen. It's on real muscle. Oh, brother. Uh, you can look at your screen right there. The what? The what? That's dope. You put. Hey, what's that second album right there? I can't see. My beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy? No, no, no. Oh, that's Mac Miller. And they got the body. Yeah, only, only oh, y'all, I'm back at home. I had a really good time. Like, I had a really good time because I didn't know what, like I said, I was going to go see, it was a baby shower for my friend. His fiance is pregnant with a baby girl. And I was not anxious, but, you know, I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna really know nobody because the person that I know that invited me is the the dude and baby showers are usually for women, but Morgan was such a sweetheart and Deshaun is just my nigga through and through. Like, he is just so welcoming and like to see his family and stuff, it was really lit. And then I was so focused on probably not knowing anybody there that I forgot that his friends, his longtime friends, are my friends and I didn't I haven't seen them since my graduation party in 2021 so it was really good to see them and so we just parlayed and talked a lot I had stupid ass discussions there is a discussion where the uh, my friend his name's Mike he was like he saw a woman um, walking down the street and she had a shirt on that said bitch on the front and it just kind of turned into like um, she can't. She he was he was basically saying she can't get mad if a dude come up to her and call her a bitch because she has that on her shirt. And I was like, nigga, what? If I had a shirt that had nigga right on the front, I would. Hey, a friend was like, his name's Jamel. Jamel was like, Mike asked Jamel. He was like, if you had a shirt with nigga on it and a white person came to you and said nigga, Jamel was like, I'll still off on that man. I said, absolutely right absolutely right just because and the thing about it is i go I, I go out on the town and white people already think that i'm a nigga they they see me and say nigga in the head so what makes you think that me having a shirt that say nigga on it is gonna deter them from not thinking that still one two just because i call my girls bitches like that's my bitch bad bitch these bitches you know just because i say it don't mean it gives you the right to be like, oh, okay, well, since she's saying my bitches, I, I'm going to say bitch. No. My, my bitch is a term of endearment. Yo bitch is an insult. No, thank you. My niggas, I'm reclaiming the word nigga. I'm reclaiming the word bitch. That means this is for my niggas and this is for my bitches. Anybody that don't fit into that category, don't fit into that motherfucking category. You feel me? But we was having stupid ass debates like that. And I just... I, community is just really just so important. You know, I just really love friendship. And I really love longevity because I'm learning that one, you can't expect yourself out of your friends. And two, quantity does not equal quality. But to see quantity and quality in a great friendship, it's, it's so, it reminds you what living is all about, really. Just being surrounded by a community that you trust and love is unparalleled. There's nothing like it. But yeah, I had a good ass time. I felt like I looked cute. I haven't been out in so long. I was going to go to Trader Joe's, but I'm motherfucking tired. So this time changed for me personally. Somebody was like, the time change comes every year. Yeah. And every year still baffles me. I don't give a fuck if it comes twice a year, three times a year. I'm still going to be shocked and in awe by it because why would I get used to it? Let's start there. Especially if a bill was to be passed to, to get rid of it, why would I get used to it? 
Well, I'd be like, oh, it's coming. So I should just get used to this hour change that I lost. Nobody's getting used to that shit. But yeah. Um, I'm going to wear this dress again. I like it. And I think I need to wear it to like a wedding more so than a, a baby shower type thing. Um, very cute. I was a little overdressed, but I would rather be overdressed than underdressed. One, two, when you don't know people, you want to make sure that you leave an impression. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all see me, right? Y'all see how I look on a day to day. I look bummy. I look crusty. I look crazy. So... And, but we know each other, so we've established that rapport. However, I don't know these people, right? So I want to make sure that when I, when I put my foot down, they remember that foot because it was standing on business. It was standing on being a fine bitch, a fine, black, big, beautiful, bronze bitch. Triple B's in this bitch, okay? Anyway, I was going to end the vlog, but I'm not ending the vlog until we go to Trader Joe's and get flowers. But I am ending it tonight. I'm going to take this wig off, take my makeup off. I still haven't finished before I let go. So I'm going to read a little bit of that. I'm watching Superstore and New Girl. I just need good comfort shows that don't have any type of depth to them just to get my mind back into the scheme of things. Um, but yeah. So I might watch one of those shows and just chill out and vibe. Oh shit. And then I got I changed my sheets yesterday. I love I love the green color. I should show y'all. I'll show y'all tomorrow. I love the green color. Um so now I need to wrap the lights around my balcony around this you know what I'm talking about. This thing. And then um uh, I need to figure out how else I'm going to decorate it. Really. But yeah. Um, that's all folks. I'm gonna vibe and chill out and see what the day takes me. It the weekend, this weekend was so beautiful. Shout out to Dallas finally doing something right. It was so beautiful. Now the weather changes are ridiculous. One minute is hot, one minute it's cold. But the skies, it was beautiful. And you know one thing that I like, I really enjoy. And it's so random, but I just guess with time, it's just becoming more and more obsolete. Children playing outside. I love seeing children and their parents just frolicking outside, riding their little bikes, skateboard skates. This one cute little thing, this cute maybe seven, eight year old, he was riding his bike with his brother, cousin, friend, I don't know. And I was walking to the baby shower. He was like, I didn't, I didn't think he was talking to me. He was like, hey, Hell, no, he said, good afternoon. And I just kept walking. And he was like, how are you doing, ma'am? And I turned, I said, I'm doing good. How you doing? He said, I'm doing good. Thank you. Such a sweet boy. I look back, I said, that is. <laughs> Why am I so surprised by manners one, two? I'm old now. These niggas don't know how, excuse me. These little children don't know how old I am. He saw me, he said, oh, 50. Hello, ma'am. <laughs> and that's okay, because I don't mind that. From those little children, yes. The yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Okay, for sure. But, like, 21-year-olds, it's just... I, and mind you, 21, they're, I'm literally 10 years older than them. So, yeah, call me yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. But it's just, it just feel weird. It just feel weird. And then, like, when I be using lingo, like not even lingo, just when I just be talking, saying, bet, appreciate it, stuff like that. I just be like, am I just gonna stop saying that because cause I'm older now? I don't know, I don't know, but anyway, I'm just rambling on, cause what? Yeah, I look good. <laughs> but yeah, I will talk to y'all tomorrow and usually, or more than likely, we're gonna talk on my way to Trader Joe's to get some flowers, just so I can just reset and re, you know what I'm saying, do my thing. But yeah, talk to y'all tomorrow, peace. I'm so cute. I'm so cute. Who gonna tell me I'm not cute? Because whoever gonna say that is a motherfucking lie. Tell that. Run and tell that, homeboy. <laughs>